Good morning, folks. It's been an interesting 12 hours or so here. Even more interesting when we look at science across the world and into deep space. But first, let's begin with my little scare this morning as I went to spaceweathernews.com and found the sun images knocked back 10 days, back to the end of July. My scrambling began. Well, GOES does have their versions of this up as well. Check those out to find all is well and very quiet. Even the flare-broken GOES 15 X-ray camera was up and running, and indeed, we finally figured out someone at NASA messed up, their servers crashed, and reset to the last checkpoint in July. Then I remember that Helio Viewer pulls directly from Lockheed, and so I am able to deliver these images to you this morning, where we find an utterly silent and boring star. From the super typhoon in the China Sea to the Indian monsoon, none of this is going to be pretty. Specifically in India, the inundation is forcing hundreds of thousands to flee, 16 dead in this city alone from the major floods, expected to continue and get much worse today. Part of the interesting last 12 hours I've had was me watching this storm roll down the new valley of the sun. I could indeed see the funnel from my house, and here's what the lightning detector on go saw around sunset. Half the country lights up and flashing. Let's start the news articles and jump back to the sun. This might not look like much, but it's the first interplanetary shock discovered by MMS. Their data confirms a plasma cosmology theory about shock-driven ion scattering in the one-two punch of a collisionless shock in solar wind. Collisionless shocks mean it's electromagnetism rather than kinetic impacts transferring the energy. Up next, it's the July U.S. climate report. Three on temperature and one precipitation bottom right. The point of interest for the millionth month in a row. The most red is found on the daily minimum charts bottom left, and on the daily maximum temperature chart top right, we see the most blue. Indeed, most of the ongoing temperature changes on the planet are what happens at night. Let's do some volcanoes. These scientists are discussing the processes that lead to explosive eruptions in volcanoes that go boom regularly, but their pressure cap concept confirmation here is why Yellowstone won't be scaring me until the geysers geothermal release and small earthquakes stop, which would finally allow it to build up some pressure. We are also learning that the Great Loki volcano on Jupiter's moon Io has a resonance pattern about 500 days, just like its orbit cycle. Even though it orbits Jupiter about once in a day, a day or two, its eccentricity, distance, they form a cycle, one that seems to trigger the Great Volcano as well. Let's go to deep space, starting with ALMA, which has revealed the plasma torus and disk around a plasma nucleus commonly called a black hole. It is indeed the largest such object that ALMA has ever seen. But let's go to a better record. Chandra has upped the game in finding the earliest major X-ray source of a supermassive compact object. They say this one is at least 13 billion years old, and this is where Dr. Melia's timeline problems come into play for cosmology. If you've heard about things like the Methuselah star that appears to be older than the universe, yeah, that's just here in our galaxy. They're probably everywhere. But equally problematic for science are these massive objects forming so fast and early in the cosmos. It is impossible under the standard scientific paradigm. Up next, a move in the correct direction. After paying some lip service to dark matter in one sentence, which was how they will pass peer review, they jump immediately on sentence two to the normal matter and describe how little we see it. Not only do we not see it, but we miss its dynamical interactions. We have trouble even modeling those in a lab. Astrophysical plasmas are wild, unpredictable monsters, and we don't account for them really at all. Of course, I'm talking plasma cosmology topics now, and if you missed our movie, Miss last night's video, professors have begun to respond. I have to say, last night's video is getting some of the best responses from you guys to any video I've ever put out. Thank you very much, and please check it out if you missed it. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.